morning everybody today at Dusseldorf we're going to be looking at the Furby 400 the money and I was buying new this would be my my fast fun cruiser Not my usual place to start, but we're actually going to start forward today. Like her sister ship, um, the Nord ship, she has a nice dolphin seat at the front and a stainless steel um, anchor roller, barrel roller. One thing I like, which they've done for um, this boat, you actually have a, a clamp to hold the anchor down, then obviously. Anyone with any sense would um, put a block through or just tie it up to make sure it's secure, but it stops the anchor from bouncing. Have you fair look? There's um, clip points on here. And then obviously these are actually locked um, because they don't want people getting in and accidentally releasing the chain and dropping the anchor on someone's head, which is bound to happen. Have your anchor locker in here, and I can assure you there's enough room in there if you want to put some spare lines or a couple of fenders. This particular boat is built for sailors. She's not as beamy as her sister ship. Um, she's a lot faster, a lot stiffer, and you'll see as we look at the systems how everything's been prepared for single-handed, great racing and lovely cruising. But as you can see, she's got a really nice narrow shape going aft. Very pretty boat. Hatch going into your forward cabin. We'll have a look at that in a minute. We're going to come down the port side. As you will notice, there is no self-tacking jib, which is fantastic. You have your Genoa tracks either side. Obviously, this is where your mast goes, and I'll probably repeat myself, but it's a kill step mast, and obviously all your lines go onto the blocks. There is some nice little touches that they've done. Obviously, you've got some stainless steel bars on the coach roof, so your ropes aren't, there's no friction on the gel coat. And just to be sure on the corners of the woodwork, they've repeated it on the corners. And obviously your lines will come through here, down into the blocks, and then run through the deck to keep them clear. It is the little details. Once again, for the cleats, there are some manufacturers that could take note. Once again, you have stainless steel rub bars here, so there's no rubbing on your woodwork. Um, and obviously wearing through your lines. If you're moored up either side, it's the same on the starboard side. You have access to be able to get on and off the boat if you want to. This sheet here, you've got some nice aluminium blocks, nice and grippy, nothing plastic. Um, clutches, sorry, for when your lines come through, clutches. Have your Anderson 40 self tailing winch and it is electric, which is fabulous. This is repeated obviously on the other side. There is storage or uh, open line bin and you'll see um, how practical that is in a second. More blocks for genera sheets. And then if you're running a code zero, code D, if you've got a code zero, code D, your other shit sheets, you've got some nice Selden blocks here and a block back there for a spinnaker. 
And the nice thing with this is there are little holes, and I'll show you the other side in a minute, to run your sheets through, to run your sheets up and out for the winches. Anderson 43 self tailing manual winch and an Anderson 40 self tailing another electric winch. And you've got all your little blocks. So where those blocks are here, everything runs through the holes. You can run to either winches or your sheets. Um, this is the obviously the um, block system for your main sheet traveller. It's really, really, really nice. Now obviously over this side there's your repeated electric winch and more clutches. Above the coach roof you have all your repeaters, wind instruments, etc. Hope I'm not going too fast for you. While we're here, I will give you a pano, nice pano of the cockpit. Centre cockpit once again, which, you know, if you're racing single-handed, it's very nice, very safe. It's easy to step into the cockpit. I shall repeat myself every time. Main sheet traveller, as far as I'm concerned, it's the best thing in the world. You keep good down force or downwards pressure on the boom, allowing you to manipulate the mainsail, etc. Um, it's just good. It's just good practice. Right, the seat for the helm's position. Helm's position. The seat for the helm's position is nice and curved, very comfortable, and it also works nicely as lockers. Here you have access to all your steering quadrants and emergency tiller if you need it. Um, there's plenty of space for fender storage, extra lines, maybe a cell bag, you know. Keep the essential bits and pieces. And over on this side, which is rather nice, you have a gas locker and a fresh water shower in case you go for a little bit of a plunge. Just looking over the stern, you have a nice small little sugar scoop and once again a really nice drop down ladder um, to be able to get in and out of the water, which is really nice. Unlike the Nord ship, this has double backstays. Over on the starboard side you have your engine controls and access for um, shore power. And below my feet you have controls for your electric winches right by your feet. So fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Beautiful carbon wheel. I like to have a nice binnacle. Um, lovely compass. I know, electronics now, you don't need a compass. I use a compass a lot when I'm sailing, so, you know, it's a handy addition. Your electrics aren't always the way they should be. You have your um, uh, engine throttle, bow thruster, and all your um, chart plotter display and once again as you know with the other chart plotters you can set this up for radar I have a few extra bits for wind so on one thing I really like is the binnacle is really high you got a nice handle to hold on so you're not forcing on the wheel all the time I'm just gonna step off so you can get a nice look of her length. She's an absolutely beautiful boat and if it was within my budget you'll know from... I'll put a link to it but a little while ago we did a, a video of uh, my top three monoholes for X um, so I'll put a link to that up here. If I had the money and I was buying new this would be my 
my fast, fun cruiser where Sarah and Abigail can come along for the weekend or we could go away for a week as well. But mostly, because I'm selfish, I can have a lot of fun racing. If there's anything else you'd like to know, let us know in the comments below. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, before we come down through the companionway, I'll give you some tech on this boat. Um, this is the Furby 400, as we said. It has a water length of 10.97 meters, draft of 1.9, five meters and a displacement of 6.5 tons and the kill ballast is 2.5 tons it's quite a steep companion way this is a sailor's yacht um, compared to the Nord ship she's actually quite a bit narrower narrower not as much beam um, over here on the port side, you have your galley, little U-shaped galley. Come over here. Usual thing, plenty of storage. You have a freezer or fridge this side. And the same over here and here. Single sink, more storage underneath, and a two gimbal burner stove. There is plenty of storage up here. I'll just give you a pano of the salon. I really like this boat. Uh, the specifics we'll put somewhere either up there or down below of the speed comfort ratio um, etc but this is a lot lot faster than her sister boat the nord ship you have a really nice l shape settee here and if you have a look down the bottom i don't know if you can see that you have some of your electric switches and systems handy little cubby in the middle there's obviously storage underneath the seats and if you're on passage or it's a bit rough you have a nice long seat bench along here to get some rest obviously more cupboards along here and before we go too far forward show you the nav station it's an aft facing nav station it's quite nicely set up obviously they've got it set up as a as a desk and so on with a telly you can have your your navionics um, repeater wind instruments up here and so on there is a fusion stereo system um, digital victron um, battery jobby and then obviously all your switches for navigation lights engine lights refrigerator you know your electrics and stuff and obviously water pressure fuel pumps on and so on the VHF has a nice little connection up there with the speaker and it's actually tucked away well I thought it was tucked away in that cupboard but not in that cupboard but it's here somewhere it's not very good for you guys is it nice comfortable space coming aft on the starboard side you have an electric flush head there's plenty of space I'll show you how tall it all is in a second it's a wet heads but it has some at least some dividing um, for the sink and so on and you have your shower head here which is quite nice just turn you around you can see you know there's quite a lot of space here I think you'd be just okay if you're six foot um, it's okay squeeze out the door I'm just gonna spin you around access to your engineering compartment is under here 
I don't know if we're going to be able to get it open. Nope. And you have your um, battery switches, fire extinguisher, etc. Shame we couldn't get that open. And then aft, you have quite a nice spacious bed. The cockpit gets into a little bit, but you know, it's only for sleeping. You have a um, ventilation, some more ventilation here. Something I haven't talked about too much, there's grab handles everywhere, all the way along, all the way through. Obviously it's not as beamy as the Nord ship, this boat's been specifically for comfort, but for speed. Nice big opening port light, port and starboard. Now we come forward. She's a nice little boat, it's really well put together. And your forward V berth, which is big enough for two. It's really nice. You have a large opening hatch up above. And a nice little bench seat there to sit on and, you know, get dressed or just chill. shelves in here and obviously this side there is a hanging cupboard behind the door and obviously more cupboards under here if I just turn around quickly if you don't mind I'll give you a pano from here Even with the dark wood, she's actually quite a light boat. There's quite a lot of light coming in. Structurally, she's built the same as the Nord ship with the reinforced steel and large steel plates for the kill. Um, it's a kill step mast, so obviously the back of the mast comes down through here. If you want, I'll show you the mast hole. There we go. And an opening hatch here. And here, it's nice that they open in opposite direction, so you get the draft. So we'll have a look at the Furby 40, and then over at the Nord Ship 420DS. As you can see from the shape, she's very pointy, not beamy. She doesn't have too much draft, but a really, really nice curve, which means she's gonna be nice and stable on the hill. A very fast little boat. You'll see here, you got the bow thruster and then a nice large bulb keel for a 40 foot boat. It's a cell drive, single rudder, single spade rudder, but a very, very deep and long rudder, which is great. I think you're gonna get a lot of feel in this rudder while you're racing. And have a lot of contact with the water. Very, very, very nice shape. 